Well howdy my fantastic artistic friends, welcome back to Painting with Master Temple and today we're going to do another flag painting. Now a couple of weeks ago I did a painting of the Ukrainian flag uh, to show a little bit of a support to, to what's happening over there and on a couple of, uh, couple of times I've painted the St George's Cross for England and the Union flag for Great Britain and also the Scottish Solitaire so I thought today I'll paint one for, for my American friends across the pond and this is the this, the Star Spangled Banner. Now, before we all start screaming and shouting, I'm not going to paint all the stars up there and all the stripes. We're just going to loosely paint an interpretation of that in uh, in, in uh, landscape form. Now, the canvas is upright, which means it's in portrait form. Okay, and it took some prep. So, on this bottom section here, it's been primed in white primer and allowed to dry in the top part in black primer and allowed to dry. Once that's dry, down here we've coated it in liquid white and up here we've coated it in thalo blue and a tiny bit of liquid clear. Not much liquid clear though, so thalo blue, liquid white. Okay, so let's let's crack on with it. So if all goes well, we'll have a nice star spangled banner. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is put the stars up here. All right, so I'm gonna take some colors. Now the colors I'm gonna be using today are uh, Liz and Crimson, bright red, titanium white, phthalo blue, and a tiny, tiny touch of Indian yellow. Okay, so I'm gonna take some white, not much white, and mix it with a tiny bit, just a tiny touch of Indian yellow. Don't want much, because yellow and blue, and we'll go up there, will make a wonderful green sky. And that's not what, that's not what I'm wanting just yet. We don't want a green sky on our American friends' flags now, do we? Okay, and all I'm going to do is into that mixed pile of paint. I don't know if you can see that. That little mixed pile of paint there is take the, hen the end of your paintbrush and then just wherever we want. Remember, this is not identical to the flag, but just a good interpretation of it. So wherever we want, we're going to put some little stars. Okay, just put some little stars, some brighter ones. And so, a little bit dimmer ones, wherever we want. Now, if you're painting this at home and you want to put all the stars on there and all the stripes, I'd love to see that happen. I'd, lo I'd love you to send me a photograph of that. So if you could, please do so. Okay. So just on there, just a little hint of colour up there. Now... Let's blend those out, okay, as they are, they just look like little dots, so we're going to try and turn them into stars, so a little bit, this is a pony haired brush, it's really soft, okay, I'm just going to gently caress these from side to side, just, just very gently, you don't have to go too strong, just very gently, I'm, it's side to side, okay. Just set them into the painting. And what we'll, we'll create is a nice little uh, aurora, okay? Just on every single one, just like this. And of course, the more you rub the, uh, the little stars, the more they'll disappear into the blue. So if you've got one that's a bit bright and you want it to go away, you know how to do it. Okay, so just like that. So now we've got a lot of little stars like that. Now I'm going to go upwards, okay, and downwards, up and down. Just up and down, just very lightly. Just very lightly, just tickling the canvas, hardly touching the canvas. There we go. <laughs> I can hear somebody's dogs barking in the background. I hope he's not my dog. <laughs> there we go. So now we've got now we've got that. Now what we're going to do is take the palette knife, okay? And I have a little one somewhere, a little palette knife. It's down here. We'll use the little one today, okay? I'm going to use the little edge of the little palette knife, and I'm just going to hit some of that titanium white, 
just on that very tiny edge. Hardly any paint on there at all. No paint at all, in fact. Start again. Grab a tiny touch, okay? And with the heel of the knife, so we'll use this point there. I'm just going to touch on in the middle of those stars and just draw a line going up. Okay, so we'll make these stars sparkle. Now, you don't have to do every single star unless you want to do every single star. Remember, when you're doing your painting, it is your canvas and you can you can control it however you want. Okay. So just there and here and here and there, just some nice little stars. Okay, and we'll do the same thing again going sideward so again on that sharpie point just to the side like so just go straight across you can make them as big as you want or as small as you want there we go maybe that so where the phthalo blue and the white mix we've just blended them together i don't know if i mentioned that at the beginning but um we can see that's what's happened. Okay. Just blended them together. Okay, now we can do that same thing again. So I've virtually got no paint now on the on the palette knife, but I'm just gonna scrape through and go backwards and forwards. And that will pick up some paint. There like that. That will pick up some of this paint that's on there and create a nice little twinkle, okay? Just there like that. And another one there, and maybe this one here. <laughs> and now I can hear somebody singing outside as well, which I know for a fact certainly is not my dog. I don't know if you can hear that. Okay, one more there, and maybe a bit there. Like that. So there we go. That, that's a starry sky. You know, I know there's not the whole set of stars that are on the flag, but it gives us an indication of what to do. Now, what we need now is the red and white stripes. So I'm going to take a fan brush. Let's uh, let's use this one. This is number six. Okay, so let me just have a look at the colour. So we've got bright red. We've got a liz and crimson there. I've got a touch of magenta just off to the side and some yellows, but we don't need to worry about those just yet. Okay, so bright red, a losing crimson, and a little pile in between where uh, I've made, you know, a, a mixture of a losing crimson and bright red. Because we're going to get progressively darker, but we don't want to lose the red and white feel to the uh, to the painting. So all I'm going to do is load a fan brush full of bright red. Okay, just full of bright red, and then just up here, maybe there's a hill. Maybe it comes down there like so. Okay, if we're going to add a paint, let's get some more. Remember, we've got liquid white under here, so the more we tap, the more we're going to end up getting a pinkier colour. Okay, so just bear that in mind. If we go into the blues, we're going to get a purplier colour. Okay, maybe this comes up there and down into nothing like that. Okay, so that's a pretty steep hill. Okay, looks like the hills what uh, where I live near the North York Moors and the Pennines. Okay, so I'm just going to finish this off. Obviously, this is not a um, a Yorkshire painting. This is a hill that's in America. Okay, and if you're American and you know where this hill is, <laughs> please let me know. I have actually been to America. It's one of the most beautifulest places um, on the planet. And uh, I stayed with some um, some relatives. I stayed with relatives actually in Canada, in Toronto. And we went across the Niagara Falls and into Buffalo, into America. And wow, the, the scenery up there, it is just outstanding. And if you ever get a chance to go, I urge you all to go. It's, it, it is beautiful. And the people over there are just so, so friendly. And the food, it's as big as, uh, it's as, big as your palate, literally. Okay, beautiful stuff. Okay, so dry brush, I'm just going to lift up slightly. So we've got this paint on there. I'm just going to lift up slightly, just 
really short little tiny strokes I don't know if you can see that um, but it's just only let's say half an inch half an inch 12 millimeters just over a centimeter okay just a little tiny strokes now what this will do is give an indication of some far away trees now even though we're going uphill don't go at an angle we still want to go straight up okay just straight up and that up oh, right up to the very top there like that okay there and we've got some we've got some little trees up on there which is nice isn't it right let's take a dry brush i'm going to go into some titanium white we don't need much titanium white because we've got liquid white underneath but uh, uh i'll put some titanium white and then we're going to blend this out just blend there okay just blend the base of this out we're misting the base of this little hill okay knock off the excess paint and we'll bring the uh, the white into the red and the red into the white and we're creating a little area of mist or fog or or steam or you know pollution perhaps whatever we're just diffusing light because uh, this is going to be one of the hills okay let's grab a dry brush okay and i'm just going to blend that just tickle that out big old bob ross dry brush in fact bob ross if many of you from england don't know <laughs> and you should know was an american artist who i absolutely idolize okay and taught me everything i need to know about art my art teacher on the other hand from school said i'd never be able to paint ever okay so there we go but that's a story i've shared with you a few times anyway let's get off that so we've got one foothill there let's add another one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into that little color of bright red and a liz and crimson mixed okay and let's put another one in all right and if the mosquitoes are about like this one is oh shoot that's all right i've got a pond outside so uh um and it's about they're starting to hatch now i think anyway they right, get their old big koi cow to come and eat them before, before they take flight okay so just let's add another little hill there now you can vary the shapes of these just like that and then we'll just fill that area in there just there like so okay back to the color uh, sorry back to the brush that we blended with and we'll do the same thing again just like that get really tough with that get stuck in bring that down to nothing take the paintbrush that dry one and we'll just give it a few little lifts here and there okay maybe a little bit of a, a longer stroke this time because the the trees are slightly closer to us and again go uphill but don't fall down make sure your trees don't fall down there we go and then down there like so so that blends out virtually into nothing okay let's add another one in so again i'm just going to hit a little bit more realism and crimson this time i want it to get a little bit darker as we come towards us just there like so keep that white spot in between these stripes remember it's really important that shake off the excess and then i'm just going to lift up here and there and there and here just like that create another little plane of little hills and then bear, blend the base of this out just there like that let me take it round like that okay so i think this needs uh, a few trees on this one i think it's looking like it could do with a few trees 
looking like a good place to put a tree or a pond perhaps what we're saying folks what we're saying uh, let's do it let's go for a few little trees first okay so i'm going to take this little fantastic little rounded brush it's not an oil paint brush at all but it it seems to work all right for me okay dip it into some uh thin oil okay let's see if we can get a tad more oil on the go there we go into some thin oil into that mixture of alizarin crimson and bright red and a lot of paint okay use actually a lot of paint on that there and i'm just going to touch here and bring that down that's where one tree is going to be so let's give him some arms and just work down there like so and then maybe another one oh, push that one up there maybe he's got a little bit of a bend in him a little bit of a crook maybe the old the old uh, bear or deer or whatever came along and stood on that one yeah and another one let's add another one there as well and just drop the brush side to side just like that maybe maybe another one and another one and now we've got a school or herd of little trees just there like that just lives in the brushes all we're gonna do is just scare them free okay like that yeah good stuff good stuff let's create some water let's create some water all that talk of ponds and midges and everything makes me want to create some water so a little tiny bit of red paint on the brush not much just down just pull that straight down and again that will merge into the liquid white just there like that maybe it comes round i don't know i don't know yet we're just having a good free fun time aren't we okay knock off the excess and then just gently very gently go lightly across all that just side to side okay what's fun is if we uh if we had some some upturned trees in this so if we instead of pushing down like i've done on the big ones there if we go and push up but work his way down yeah, that's one. And that's maybe another one there. And you don't have to paint them exact. You don't have to paint them all. Okay. I'm going to take this and just fill in just this side there, just like that. Just there. There, like that. Okay. Set that brush down. Back to the brush that we did the... Uh, the reflections with and then again just just tease those a little bit just tease them hardly hardly touching the canvas there we go right let's put a water line in that okay so i'm going to take a touch of thinner paint okay i'll use the little knife okay right across the edge of your the blade keep your Keep your base of your knife parallel to the base of the canvas and then just cut in a nice little water line, just like that. And ripple that out, back out there. Okay, and for this one, we'll come in there as well, just like so. Let's add another one there as well, yes. Red, white and blue. That's it. Getting there. We're getting there, folks. We're nearly finished. We're nearly finished. How we're doing so far. I just want to touch that up. Little, little trees and things living out there. Like that. Looked a natural place for a tree. In fact, let's, let's put that down there. And a bit of reflection there and a bit of reflection there. Why not? We can do anything, can't we? 
We can do anything on this canvas. We are masters of our own destiny. Right, let's work on something a little bit in the foreground. We've got a few moments left, so straight into some Liz and Crimson. No messing about now. There's a tiny bit of red left on the on the paintbrush. So a Liz and Crimson, okay, and bright red. Let's work his way down here. There we go, all the way along. There, like that. I know, there, like so. <laughs> that, that midge is really, it's really getting to me now, that little fly. <laughs> all right, okay. Let's paint a bigger tree, yeah? Let's paint a bigger tree. Where's my paintbrush gone? I'll use this one. I'll use the one that we painted the stars with, but I'll uh, use the bristle side as it's uh, supposed to be. Okay, I'm going to take some Elizabeth Crimson and Bright Red, and I think we'll have the tree trunk about there. And push hard, push hard into this. And we'll bring that down there like so. Okay, now straight into a Liz and Crimson and go on the other side. So I've got one side, we've got a Liz and Crimson, and then the other side, we've got bright red. It may be hard to tell because we've got a bit of a mixture on the brush and actually on the canvas as well, but, but it's there. It's there. Like that. Okay. It's really dark and that off there, there, there. Just let the brush just gently flow free down there, right into nothing. We'll sort the feet out in a moment. Okay, uh, since we've got the stars up there, this side will be the highlight side. If you want to create a little bit of an highlight without adding white, just take the corner of your palette knife and just scrape some of that paint away okay you can do that a couple of times just scrape the paint away out of that bright red okay so you come to join it's come to join us now that little mosquito come on before you hurt yourself there you go and get stuck okay so we've got a street trunk let's add some bristles to that so straight in to some uh so my Liz and Crimson, we'll use that same brush that we used before, but you could use uh, uh, the big rounded brush, I suppose, one inch brush, fan brush, whatever. And we'll start off just there, right in the night sky. Wow. Wow. Now, it always fascinates me when I see these big North American redwoods and uh, trees like that. Oh, they've got such massive, massive, monstrous trunks. And the trees themselves are actually quite narrow. Well, not narrow in real terms, are they? Because they're, they're probably bigger than most trees on the planet. But um, they appear to be narrow because they're so tall. But there we go. So we'll just bring that down there. Add more and more of the crimson as we get down through the purples, uh, through, sorry, through the pinks and we'll get down there just like that. Now as we get down to the base here, it may be hard to distinguish a couple of the colors because we've only used a tiny touch of crimsons we've got reds and all sorts but if we put, put a tiny touch only the tiniest little touch of phthalo blue into that it will purple it up a little bit and I don't want to take too much off the red and white theme that we're doing so we're just a tiny touch of purple in there as well just to distinguish it from the background there, like that. 
There we go. And maybe just here and there and there and here. Maybe there's some, we'll get rid of that big lump of paint. Some darker spots, just, just little shadows. Just on the shadow side. There we go. Maybe back into a little bit more of the blue. Remember, it's red, white and blue, right? There we go. Okay. And then down here, we'll turn the brush sideways and we can put some little grasses and little things that are living out here. Just like that, maybe a bigger one there. A bit more red. Like that. Put that up there. There we go. I was about that. Script liner brush, where have I put you? I did have you somewhere. There you are. Let's get some thin oil on the go. Let's get plenty of thin oil. And then I'm going to go into that. A Liz and Crimson and Bright Red mix. A bit more thin oil. Okay, and I'm just going to lift some little sticks, twigs, just through all that lot. And then same this way, we'll go this way and we'll go that way just to, to guide your eye into the centre of the painting. Okay, there, there. Maybe we've got a, an hanging down branch as well there. And then we'll maybe one on there as well. There we go. How's about that then, folks, eh? How's about that then? So have you enjoyed this one? Let me know. Will you give it a go? Again, let me know. Whoop. Help if I didn't drop the brush. But there we go. All right. Um, I think we're going to leave it there. I usually sign them in, in bright red, but I have no bright red. So um, let's pick some blue. <laughs> and I'm just going to put a little squiggle just down there. I'll sign the back. But if you've enjoyed it, let me know. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me a big thumbs up, leave me a comment. Let me know if you're from America as well and you're watching this. Okay, and until next time, do take care of yourself, stay safe, and as always, happy days.